got a 2006 Honda Ridgeline. We're going to change an air filter today. These should be changed about every 12,000 miles or just about every year. Then open up your door, find the hood release, pop it up. Then lift this up just a little bit. And you'll have to reach under just about center and pop that lever up. So we'll go ahead and prop it up, put it right where that line is. And then we're gonna be getting right here into this box. And that is where your air filter is located. These are the tools that you'll need for the project. You'll need an air filter. I'll link a couple in the description, different brands that you can get a 5 16 or a Phillips screwdriver. It does help if you have one that has a really long extension like this one. Um, but yeah, you can get it and uh, it's just four bolts. So uh, you have the ability to use a flathead or get the bolt off with a 5 16 So to go ahead and get this off, there are four screws, one, two, and this one is missing. You can tell one right on the back side. And then the hardest one to reach is down back on the back side here. And so you just can use a 5 16 or you can use a Phillips screwdriver. And you just begin to twist these off. These are the kind of screws as you're unscrewing them that they will stay inside of it, which is kind of nice so you're not dropping this screw down. Um, but yeah, that's how that kind of works. And then one on the back side, and you can kind of lift up and see if it's actually done what it needs to do. And this one is the hardest one. There is a little cut out in here that allows you to get back in there. Um, if you have an extra long screwdriver, that is helpful. And so there's that little cut out and you can get down in here. I think that's probably good. Um, and then kind of the next thing is you begin to kind of lift this up, you can kind of take the whole thing out, which is nice, and you can kind of see underneath and just begin to pull and slide it out. So that is the old one, and do notice the angle here. That would be really helpful in making sure we have it lined up. So that is the old one. Here is your new one. You can tell it's much cleaner, much brighter. It's been just over a year since I have replaced these. Um, so same kind of concept. This angle is going to be there. So you just lightly lift this up and that allows you to slide it in and it should be seated well. If it's not seated well, you're not doing it right. And then you just push it right back down on top and you take those four screws again. Mine only has three. Mine's got one missing. Um, I am going to try to find a replacement at some time just to make sure we have good air filtration you do not have to over snug these but you do want them snug because you want it to hold on pretty tightly there okay then you got the back one remember that's back under this area and this one can be the hardest one to get to Again, if you have a really long one, it works well. Um, this is a, kind of a shorter one, but that is it. Again, if I had a screw here, I would do the same thing. Or you can use the socket, but I don't, mine's missing. And so that is it. You can go ahead and throw away your old one. And you will disconnect the hood latch up here. Set it down on there, close your hood, and you're done for another um, 10, 12,000 miles or a year.
One last thing I do want to show you is uh, kind of looking at the underside. This is where it looks really, 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 really dirty. Um, that is not going to give you good airflow and also will reduce your uh, MPGs. So go ahead and switch these out like it is recommended and uh, will help increase your airflow to your engine, which has the ability to uh, increase your miles per gallon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if this was helpful, please like and subscribe.